hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute uh, mouth pattern so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need three kinds of yarn so I used uh, the pink yarn for the shirt then I used the blue yarn for the trouser and the white yarn for the skin color okay and also I used a crochet hook uh, which is uh, 4.0 millimeters okay this i mostly use this one because i like to use this chunky yarn so the 4.0 millimeters works well for me but if you want a smaller mouse you can use a small crochet hook or if you want a bigger one you can use a bigger crochet hook so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the head and uh, for the head we're going to start with the uh, white color so we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then I'm going to close the gap and go to the second row. Okay, so I'm going to place my marker over here so that I remember where to start in the next row. Okay, so then in the second row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase, single crochet, increase three times for a total of nine single crochets. So we're going to go in the next uh, stitch and do single crochet. going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch so you're going to do one two okay and then repeat that again so single crochet and then increase okay and then you're going to repeat the same thing one more time until here okay so after that uh, in the next row which is the third row you're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of nine single crochet so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay and then repeat that until the end okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that three times for a total of six stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the next stitch so we're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then the front loop of the next stitch pull through and pull through all the three stitches okay and then repeat that again three more times so single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches and then repeat that one more time do single crochet and then decrease okay so after you've done it that uh, in our next row which is our fifth row you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of six single crochet so I'll see you when you're done with your fifth row so that we do the sixth row together okay so in our sixth row we are going to increase each each and every stitch uh in the previous row for a total of 12 stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch so we're going to do two single crochet and then repeat that again two single crochet in the next stitch okay and then repeat that again for the remaining four stitches so two single crochet in each stitch until the end okay so after that uh, in our seventh row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that six times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch so we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then repeat that again single crochet increase okay so you're going to repeat that again four more times until the end 
Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next two rows, which is row eight and row nine, you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 18 single crochet in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the ninth row so that we do the tenth row together. Okay, so after you're done with the ninth row, uh, in the tenth row, we are going to start with nine single crochet first. So you're going to do one, two, three. Okay, so repeat until you have nine single crochets. Okay, so after the nine single crochets, uh, in the next six stitches, you're going to increase each and every stitch six times. Okay, so we're going to increase in the first stitch. And then increase in the second stitch. Okay, increase in the third stitch. Okay, increase in fourth stitch. Okay, increase in the fifth stitch. And increase in the sixth stitch. Okay, and then in the remaining three stitches, we are going to do single crochet in each stitch. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so we'll have a total of 24 stitches in that row. Okay, and then uh, we're going to start the 11th row. So in the 11th row, we are going to start again with nine single crochet. So do nine single crochet and then I'll show you how to do or what to do next. So after the nine single crochets, uh, in the next uh, step, we're going to do single crochet, increase and then repeat that six more times. So we're going to do single crochet and then increase. So that's one time and then repeat again single crochet and then increase that is two times okay and then you're going to repeat again four more times okay so after you're done with that uh, in the remaining three stitches we're going to do single crochet in each stitch so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then the last single crochet three okay so we have a total of um, 24 no 30 stitches in that row okay so after you're done with that uh, in our 12th row we're going again to start with nine single crochets so you're going to do one two okay so repeat until you have nine single crochets okay so after that uh in our next step we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat that six times so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch okay and then repeat that again so one two and then increase okay so you're going to repeat that all the way until you have three single crochet left here at the end okay so uh, at the end of the row you have three stitches left so you're going to do single crochet in each stitch okay so you have a total of 36 stitches Okay, so after that, uh, we're going to start again with the next row, 13. So in our row 13, we're going to start again with 9 single crochets. Okay, so you're going to do 1, 2. Okay, so and then repeat until you have 9 single crochets. Okay, and then after that, uh, in our next step, we're going to do 3 single crochet. Then increase and repeat that 6 more times. Okay, you repeat that six times. So you're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, and then increase. Okay, so you're going to repeat that again five more times until you have three stitches left here at the end. 
Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the remaining three stitches, you're going to do single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so we have a total of 42 stitches in that row. Okay, so then in our next row, we're going again to start with nine single crochets. Okay, so you're going to do one, two, Okay, and then repeat until you have nine single crochets. Okay, so after that, uh, we're going to do four single crochet, then increase and repeat that six times. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet. One, two, okay, so two, three, four, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that five more times or until you have three stitches left here at the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in the remaining three stitches, you're going to do single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so we have a total of uh, 48 stitches. So after you're done with that, uh, in the next nine rows, which is from row 15 until row 23, you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 48 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the next nine, row, nine rows until row 23, so that we start that 24th row together. Okay, so after the 23rd row, this is how our head looks like. So make sure you stuff here at the end of the nose before you continue. So now we're going to continue to the 24th row. And in our 24th row, we're going to start decreasing. Okay, so first uh, we're going to do six single crochet, then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our 25th row, we're going to do five single crochet, then decrease in the next two stitches and repeat six times for a total of 36 stitches. So you're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five and then decrease so you can do an inv invisible decrease so that your work looks neat so you go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then go in the back loop of the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the tr uh, all the loops together and then you're going to repeat that again so five single crochet decrease all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in our 26th row uh, we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then we're going to decrease Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 27th row, we are going to do three single crochet, then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, and then decrease in the next two stitches. 
okay and then you're going to repeat that again all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in the next row which is our 28th row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two and then decrease in the next two stitches Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, make sure you start stuffing your head uh, because we only have two rows left. So as you can already see, I, re I already stuffed my head first. Okay, so and then we continue to the 29th row. So in our 29th row, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again all the way around until the end okay so after you're done you're going to stuff your head fully so as you can see i already did that and then you're going to shape your head so uh this is going to be the front of the face so the nose is supposed to face upwards so shape it according to the way you want your face to look like okay so now we're going to finish up uh in the last row okay and in our last row we're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches so you're going to decrease one time Okay, and then decrease again. Okay, and then you're going to decrease all the way around until the end. So when you're done, you leave, uh, uh, you cut your yarn and leave it long enough for sewing. And then after that, uh, you can do the finishing with a needle so that you can close the gap. Okay, so after we're done with this, I'm going to show you how to make the legs and the body. Okay, so now we're going to start with the legs and we're going to do the legs moving up to the body. So first, uh, we, you're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring. So I already did that. So in our second row, we're going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in the next row. So we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and then do again two single crochet the next stitch okay so you're going to do two single crochet in every stitch until the end so after that uh, in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again single crochet increase okay so continue like that until you reach here at the end Okay, so after that, uh, in our fourth row, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat six times for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next two rows, which is row 5 and row 6, you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 24 stitches in each row. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, okay, and then you're going to repeat this all the way around until the end in this row and the next row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 6th row so that we do the 7th row together. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 7th row, uh, we're going to do first six single crochet then six decrease and again six single crochet so for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to decrease six times. Okay, so you, we're going to decrease one, and then decrease again, two, and then decrease, three, decrease the fourth time, and then decrease the fifth time. And then decrease again the last time, which is the sixth time. Okay, and then after that, uh, in the remaining six stitches, you're going to do single crochet until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our eighth row, we're going to start with six single crochet. So you're going to do one, okay so repeat until you have six single crochets okay so after you do six single crochet we're going to decrease three times okay so we're going to do decrease one and then do another decrease two and then do the last decrease which is decrease three three okay and then after that uh, in the remaining six stitches you're going to do single crochet until the end so we're going to have a total of 15 stitches in this row after that uh, in our ninth row we're going to start with four single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two, three, and then four, okay, and then we're going to do three decrease, so we're going to do decrease, one, okay, decrease again the second time, And then decrease again the third time. Okay, and then after that, uh, in the remaining five stitches, you're going to do single crochet until here. So we're going to have a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so after you're done uh, with that row, with the ninth row, in our 10th row, you're going to switch to the trouser color. So in my case, I'm going to use the blue color or the light blue color, as you can see. Okay, so in our next row, which is our 10th row, we are going to crochet in the back loops only. So we're going to do single crochet all the way around in the back loops only for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so we're going to go in the back loop and do single crochet. Okay, and then go in the back loop of the next stitch, do a single crochet, and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 11th row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat six times for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. So we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to repeat that again. So single crochet, then increase. Okay, and then you're going to continue like that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done uh, with the 11th row, in our next uh, four rows, we are going to do single crochet in each and every stitch. 
for a total of 18 stitches in each row okay so you're going to when you finish the first leg so our 15th row is the last row of the leg so when you're done with the 15th row you're going to cut the yarn but when you're done with the second leg don't cut the yarn so we're going to join the two legs together so when you're done with the second leg i'll show you how to join the two legs together so that we start making the body so after you're done uh, with the second leg make sure you stuff the bottom part first okay and then now we're going to join the two legs together okay so to join the two legs together what we're going to do we're going to do a chain three first okay so we're going to do chain one two three okay and then after that we're going to take our second leg so make sure they are in line together or they look good together so we're going to go in the previous leg, uh, previous leg and then do our single crochet okay and then after that you're going to do 18 uh, single crochet all the way around until the end okay so you you're going to have a total of 18 single crochet in the first leg until you get here where we join the two legs together and then i'm going to show you how to do here at the end okay so you're going to continue and do so i'm going to put my mark over here before i start so we're going to do single crochet one okay and then we continue single crochet two single crochet three so repeat all the way around until you get here where we joined with the chain three so after you're done with the 18 single crochet in the first leg so we're going to do single crochet in uh, every chain that we join with so you're going to do single crochet in the first chain and then you're going to go again in the second chain and do single crochet and then go again in the third chain and do single crochet okay and then after that we're going to continue doing single crochet uh, all the way around until we get here again uh, at the chain three so we're going to continue counting again do 18 single crochet in the next leg okay same with the previous leg okay so continue all the way until you get here where we joined with the chain three okay so after you get here where we joined with the chain three you're going to go to the opposite side of the chain and do single crochet in every chain so you have a total of uh, three single crochet here at the chain so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and in the last chain single crochet single crochet three okay so uh, now we are done with uh, the joining part so we have a total of uh, 42 stitches we have a total of 42 stitches uh, in that row in the joining row so we don't count it as a row okay so now we're going to continue to the 16th row and in our 16th row we're going to do six single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 48 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end for a total of 48 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our 17th row uh, we're going to do seven single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 54 stitches 
So we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next six rows, which is from row 18 until row 23, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 54 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 23rd row so that we do the 24th row together. Okay, so after you're done with the 23rd row, in our 24th row, you're going to change into the shirt color. So in my case, I'm going to use the pink color. And then after that, uh, in our 24th row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in the back loops only for a total of 54 stitches. So we're going to go in the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet. And then continue like that doing single crochet in the back loop okay so in the next back loop single crochet single crochet so repeat that all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our 25th row we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 54 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then repeat all the way around until the end okay so <clears throat> after the 25th row in our 26th row we are going to start decreasing so we're going to start with seven single crochet then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 48 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then decrease in the next two stitches. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five more times so you're going to do seven single crochet decrease all the way around until the end okay, so after you're done with that uh, in our 27th row we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 48 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay and repeat until the end Okay, so after that, uh, in our 28th row, we're going to do six single crochet, then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six and then decrease in the next stitch okay then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next row you're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 42 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet and repeat all the way around until the end so after that uh, in the next row which is our 32nd row we are going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease in the next two stitches Okay, and then you're going to repeat that uh, five more times until the end 
okay so after you're done with that row uh, in the next row which is a 33 row you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so I'll see you when you're done with the 33 row then you start the 34th row together okay so after you're done with that uh, in our 34th row we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat uh, six times for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our 35 row which is our last row we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around six times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do one two and then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end so when you're done with this row you're going to cut your yarn long enough for sewing and then you're going to stuff your body fully and then i'll show you how to make the ears okay so for the ears we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring so i already did that so for the second row we're going to increase each stitch for a total of 12 stitches so you're going to go in the first stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and also go in that second stitch increase okay so you're going to continue increasing all the way until the end okay so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end okay so after that uh, in our fifth row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two three and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again five times until the end okay so after that uh, in our sixth row which is our last row uh, we're going to start by doing a chain two so we're going to do one two and then single crochet in the next stitch so you're going to do single crochet and then repeat that again so chain two one two then single crochet Okay, and then repeat that again one two and then do single crochet okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end uh, all the way around until you have seven stitches left so the reason that I did that is I wanted this pattern over here as you can see okay so uh, you're going to continue doing a chain two and single crochet all the way until you have seven stitches left over here so one two three four five six seven okay and the reason why we are leaving seven stitches here is because we're going to fold the ear two times like that uh, when we are sewing and then we're going to sew the seven stitches together so that we can attach it to the head okay so after you're done with that uh, I'll show you how to do the arm and the arm is quite easy so what you do is in the first 
uh, row you're going to start with the white yarn or the skin color yarn so you're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring into the first row and then after that you're going to increase in the second row okay and then after you're done with that uh, so we have you'll have six single crochet in the first row and 12 single crochet in the second row after that you're going to change to the pink color and after you change to the pink color in uh, the next row you're going to do in the back loop only and do single crochet all the way around until the end okay and then after you're done with that uh, for the next 13 rows you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches in each row and then after that you're going to cut your yarn long enough for sewing so it's that easy so your arm is gonna look like that and then when you're done with that i'll show you how to join all the parts together hey okay guys so as you can see i already finished attaching the parts together so what you do is you attach the arms to the body first so you attach them in line with the legs uh, over here and also the same case over here okay and then after that you're going to attach uh the head this is the most challenging part but uh what you do is you're going to uh make sure it looks upward it looks as if uh the mouse is looking upward and then you're going to sew it all the way around as you can see this is how the back look until all around until the end okay and then after that for the ears also you're going to attach them almost at the back of the head uh this is where i attach them so you're going to count one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten here at the tenth row from the back and the same case over here so you remember where uh the seven stitches we left you're going to sew them together and then you're going to make it straight all around near the head and also for the eyes i attach them um i just uh, made sure like they are at the center of the face okay, so for here for the upper belt i did a chain 24 all the way around so the same case with this i did a chain 24 and same case for the bow tie i did a chain long enough uh, so that I can tie the two parts together okay and that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and also you can check out my other videos so I upload uh, one video every week on Saturdays and until next time bye